Many races become very memorable for their incredible finishes, and they often come in many forms. Sometimes they battle all the way to the finish with less than one second gap between the two. Sometimes an athlete is so far ahead of anyone else that the overall glory and greatness of this athlete becomes the memorable moment. However, there is one race that took place in 2010 that was so undeniably amazing that it just might be the most dynamic and memorable finish in marathon history. Let's rewind to the 2010 Chicago Marathon. On this day, we had many great athletes competing, including the 2008 Olympic champion, Sammy Wanjiro from Kenya. Now, 2010 was a very difficult year for Sammy Wanjiro, as he battled multiple injuries, and he wasn't even able to finish that year's London Marathon, citing injuries and racing complications. Heading into the 2010 Chicago Marathon, Kabedi was certainly one of the favorites, and it's also worth noting that he did win the 2010 London Marathon with a very impressive time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 19 seconds. And as the end of the Chicago Marathon drew closer and closer, it really did appear as though he was going to win this race as well. He had a huge gap over the rest of the field, he was looking very strong, and given what had happened with Sammy Wanjiro for the previous 12 months, it did not seem as though he was going to lose against his Kenyan counterpart. However, the last mile would prove to be one of the most memorable and, quite frankly, unforgettable moments in running history. With less than a mile to go, Kabedi was up in the lead, and he was being pursued by Sami Wanjiru. Now, with a close glance, it really does appear as though Wanjiru was suffering much more than Kabedi, who still had his classic bouncy and strong arm movement up front. But somehow, Wanjiru closed the gap and once again found himself up in the lead. Now, at one point in the race, Wanjiro was well over 100 meters behind Kabedi, but he made a comeback, and this comeback was very impressive. But the moment he reached Kabedi, Kabedi would surge forward, and it really did seem as though he dropped Wanjiro multiple times. I actually remember watching this live, and every single time Wanjiro would be dropped, it appeared as though it was a devastating blow, something that no athlete could come back from. But time and time again, Wanjiro dug so deep and somehow managed to get back up front. Now, there was no decisive move ever made by either athlete, and the race was certainly still going with about two or three minutes remaining. But then, with seemingly no energy left, Sami Wanjiru dealt what can only be described as a Muhammad Ali final KO. And with a devastating pass, he left Kabedi absolutely in his dust. This was one of the greatest marathon finishes of all time, and it's not even a question. And somehow, despite looking as though he could not continue, Wanjiro won this race by 19 full seconds, finishing in 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 24 seconds. For many others around the world, they also label this as their all-time favorite marathon finish, and it is completely understandable as to why many people have this opinion. Sadly, this would actually be Sammy Wanjiru's final marathon race, as he unfortunately died just a few months later in his home country of Kenya. And since this moment, many have predicted that if Wanjiru had continued running, he would have been the first athlete to break two hours in an open race, which at the time was still more than three minutes away. But who knows, given a finish like this, perhaps Wanjiru would have been the first to see 159 across the finish. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.